culture. And this is, but before we do that, I want to talk about this. Now, cancer culture is going to involve the New York Times. Um, a lot of this will involve the New York Times. I love the discussion of cancer culture. Um, and uh, I mean, New York Times is just a, I think, a symbol of much of what's going on in our culture. But, but as part of kind of the, the, the discussion of the deterioration and just the state, if you will, the state, the sad state of the New York Times, I think it's worth talking about Astro Codex 10. Um, let me just, was I? Astro Codex. Astro Codex. Yes, Astro Codex 10. Um, and what was the other one? Slate Star and Slate Star Slate Star Codex. Those are the two. Astro Codex 10 and Slate Star Codex. Yes, I want to make sure I don't get the two mixed up. Um, and let's see which is which. Um, all right, that's not it. This is the one I want. All right, so who is who is Astro Codex 10? What happened to all this? One second, let me. Uh, sorry, I've got this article, and it keeps the content keeps that I'm looking for keeps disappearing. Uh, where is his name? All right. Scott, there it is. All right. So Astro Codex 10 is Scott Alexander, a guy named Scott Alexander. And I'm not doxing him because he has come out as Scott Alexander. Scott Alexander is a young psychiatrist in Silicon Valley who about 10 years ago started a blog. And uh, in the blog, he would talk about issues related to psychiatry issues related to living in Silicon Valley, and just issues that he was involved in, issues that he found interesting. Um, he gained a, a massive following, uh, a massive following, uh, primarily in Silicon Valley, but really all over the country. Uh, he became a, a celebrity who actually did speaking engagements around the country, but who kept his name private, who hid his name. Right? So... Astro Codex 10 was, was is, is, uh, is uh, uh, I guess, code name that he wrote the blog on. And the reason, no, Scott Alexander is his real name. His pen name was Astro Codex 10, right? He wrote this, uh, he wrote this um, a blog and uh, very successful and, and interesting. If you read it, interesting, a, a fresh perspective, different, generally Left of center, but, you know, kind of the, the, the rational left, the more rational left, at least in terms of some of the cultural, cultural issues, um, you know, rejected the whole cancel culture, critical race theory, all of that. Uh, but also, you know, a, a, a leftist when it comes to, poli to uh, economics, definitely a leftist when it comes to economics. And he wrote a lot about psychiatry. And the reason he kept his name uh, secret, quiet, the reason he wrote under a pen name is because uh, he was uh, in practice. He was working for a company as a psychiatrist, meeting clients, and he didn't want to confuse the clients. He didn't want them reading his blog post and then, then walking in, and it was better, and this is, I guess, the standard practice among uh, psychiatrists, this was better for his commentary to be in a different name, in a different name. Right, and that his psychiatry it practiced under his real name, and that people didn't confuse the two, and he was very diligent about not revealing his name, and he got very famous and, and very well known. Now, in um, in 2019, the New York Times decided to write a story about him. They started interviewing people about him. And they interviewed him. And in, in conversation, um, he, he told the New York Times, look, I do not want my name revealed. Here are the reasons. And please respect those reasons and do not reveal my name. The New York Times basically came back to him and said, no, we, you know, we cannot reveal the name. You, you know, why, why would we not? We're writing a story about you. We are going to write your name in. 
we're going to reveal your name. Now, uh, he, he, he obviously, I, I think he's probably 30, 31, 32, whatever. But uh, Scott, uh, you could say panicked, was, was distressed, was very upset, got really angry, tried to convince the New York Times otherwise. They would not relent. So they, uh, they, they basically said, no, we're going to write this article and reveal your name. That's just going to be how it is. And, you know, and it wasn't just the reporter. This came from the top people, from, the, from editors at the New York Times. It wasn't just a reporter who was saying this. This was, he was told, he was told that this was policy, although it's not clear it's policy. Other people in the New York Times later claimed that it's not policy. So what he did was he basically published this in a blog post and said, if the new, I, I am basically now going to stop blogging. I'm going to delete all my blogs, my entire inventory of blogs, all of them are going to be deleted because I do not want to give the New York Times this ability to dox me and to, and to ruin my career. I am going to delete the entire presence of Astro Codex 10 from the internet. Well, they found out his name because they interviewed him and, you know, they were referred to him and, and I guess they, they knew his address, they knew who he was and part of the story about his dual identity that he had maybe, hard to tell, right? So he burnt it. This was kind of an Alice Shrug moment. He said, if this is how you're behaving, write your article, I'm out of here. He resigned from his uh, psychiatric practice, this company he was working from, and basically disappeared basically disappeared. The New York Times didn't publish the article because what were they going to publish, right? The guy was gone. There was nobody to write an article about. Now, uh, suddenly the New York Times is within its legal rights to publish the name. Right? But he specifically asked not. He explained the reason why. The reason is very reasonable. And he and 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 they turned him down. They were in the wrong. And it's not their policy. Even though fairly high ups in New York Times stuck by the story, right? So it's just bad. There's no reason, there was no reason for New York Times to do this. Unprofessional, lack of decency, really immoral to put a, a young, a person like this who's, 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 who's making a living to put him in that kind of position. Anyway, he burned it all down and disappeared. Now, I didn't know about any of this. I actually was told about this by, by uh, Don Watkins a few weeks ago. Well, he mentioned, well, do you know that Astro Codex 10 is back? I said, who the hell is Astro Codex 10? And then he told me the story. Anyway, a few weeks ago, he came back on Substack. And I don't know, if you're not onto Substack, get on Substack. The best blogs now all on Substack, including Don Watkins has a blog on Substack. Anyway, Substack, he has a Substack. He came back. He published an article explaining why he did what he did explaining what happened with the New York Times, revealing his name, saying he's over it. He, now, he probably overreacted, he said, but he's now focused on, he's going to write this blog. He hopes people will support him. One of the nice things about Substack is like here, you can support the person writing so that they can make this a career, which reminds me, don't forget to use the Super Chat to support the Iran Book Show so I can continue to make this a career. Um, I don't know what's happened to, super, to, to uh, super Chat this month, but ain't what it used to be. Anyway, he, he's now making a fortune off of uh, his, uh, uh, off of, uh, his uh, Substack. So he's getting a huge amount of money from, uh, from Substack. Uh, Bradley Thompson, 
uh, is also on Substack. Thanks uh, for reminding me. Brad Thompson is on Substack. Uh, Don Watkins in the Substack. So he comes back, writes the story about the New York Times, what they did to him, why he burned it all down, why they were in the wrong. Here's his actually name. Here's his plan. He has a new plan for doing psychiatry where he's going to He's going to get new clients in private practice, and he's going to a different kind of business model in terms of a compensation. So the guy has hit a home run. He's writing, um, he's writing uh, blog posts that, again, I think interesting, stimulating, um, worth reading. I, I don't know if you want to support him with a lot of money, but worth reading. I, think I've, I can't remember if I've got a free subscription or if I, I think I do a minimal amount because it's entertaining. Anyway, last week, the New York Times publishes its article about him. And it is a hatchet job. The original article, before he burnt it all down, was supposed to be positive or, you know, critical but generally positive. This one just ripped him to shreds. Tried to associate him with racist views, link him to far-right Silicon Valley people, people you've never met, never been associated with. Linked him to the bell curve by Murray, even though he said nice things about Murray, he's never talked positively about the bell curve, but by association they try to link it. Uh, he once wrote negatively about a crazy group of feminists who he compared to Voldemort, the essence of evil, so now his view of feminism is they're all evil. Uh, he hates women in tech. He's against women in tech, even though he's been a big supporter of women in tech and has pointed out the problems in science and math education and why women drop out of it and what are the reasons and the causes and cited studies. He's very scientific, in that sense, very rational. And the Times just went after him. Just the worst kind of personal attack journalism you can imagine. Now, this is a guy. Now, I didn't say this early on because if I said this earlier on, you would not have kept on listening. I know you guys. This is a guy who in the Democratic primaries voted for Elizabeth Warren. And then the general election voted for Joe Biden. Elizabeth Warren. He's that much of a leftist. And yet he's being pilloried, not just canceled, pilloried, canceled, smeared by what used to be the leading journalistic newspaper in this country. All the news fit to print. Now, this wasn't in an editorial that somebody wrote. But was it news? What was it? It clearly wasn't reality. So what was it? <sighs> Just unbelievable stuff. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. 
Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.